Amanda. Let's have a little look in her. Give you a bit of a tour so you can see exactly what she's like. So, this is Wanda. Here she is. We've got a little window here with a book screen that opens. It's got two little side things and that opens. It's the same on the other side, which is really handy. I can pop open and then it just shuts like that. We've got some little lights up here, little reading lights. And these are our first two seats. So these are fully seat belted. Um, they've got seat belts under here. Um, they can take a child seat, which is really good. We've got a table here. This goes up and down, so you can decide what height you want it at. So we store this away whilst um, we're driving, but um, it's great to have, so the kids have a little area here or a little seating area. Um, we were at one point going to um, change the um, seats. I'll just show you. I'll just show you in here. So this is, let me show you from out here. So it's basically our divider. So on one side, if I can open the front, um, on one side it's green and on the other side it's, um, it's kind of like a grey black colour, which kind of looks like the um, bulkhead of a van. So there we go. So you can see in here. So you can't see into the back at all. And it looks like it's all closed off. So it's quite good as that we made it kind of like a security measure. And also just as a bit of insulation as well. Um, it just moves up. Um, and then you just uh, roll it up and pop it up at the top here. Um, if you want to. Um, I'll just do that. There we go. I've just moved that up there. So you can see that um, it's really spacious. We were at one point going to swivel these around, but we haven't um, done that because actually we found that we had so much space in the van already that we didn't actually need that. Um, so we, we didn't do that in the end. Um, we store this table whilst we're driving just down here along with the other one. And then let's go into our main area. So we've got our seating here, which comfortably seats six to eight um you can even attach an extra little seat in the middle down there and have another person sitting on that side if you wanted to as well we've done that before um, we've got a big skylight here which allows um for stargazing at night um and just lets loads of light in this is where this is the area that turns into a bed so we've got a little lip here and um on both sides and the table just goes as part of that. And we've also got some other connectors that you use to, to make the bed. And then these two just slide in on either side. They just slide into the middle to make the bed. It's uh, memory foam, it's really thick, it's gorgeous. You get the best night's sleep. Um, we've also got our little uh, forever, ever day, every day is a sunny day with our little bamboo inserts there and also the curtains that go across just add a little bit more insulation which is nice. I'll just demonstrate one of those. There you go. That just They just close up and just give you a little bit more insulation, make sure no drafts or anything are coming in. It's just nice and cosy. Um, these just come off nice and easily. Um, under here as well. Uh, Oh, you can't see very well, but I'll put a picture on the um, thing. We've got our battery and our inverter. You can just kind of see that. Can you see that? Battery and inverter. Um, and that draws um, 240 um, watts, which then powers um, this infrared heater which is really, really handy. So again, we're sticking with our bamboo theme because we've all kind of got bamboo everywhere here. Um, it's a infrared heater, so it warms up the space in approximately about 10 to 15 minutes. It's really cozy. It runs on a thermostat and also has a remote control. Um, we insulated the van really well when we were doing it. Um, so we generally don't find that we have to actually use the heater very often at all. Um, but as and when we do, you can literally just flick it on. If you leave it plugged in, you can just literally flick it on um, with the 
um, remote control from your bed, which is lush. Um, don't need to get up. Um, here we've got the kitchen. So we've got two gas hobs, just switch on. We've just had that checked with the gas, it's got a gas safe certificate with it, landlord's gas safe certificate. We've also got our, um, we've got storage under here. This is where we keep all our um, cutlery, uh, no, not cutlery, uh, pots and pans again bamboo we love the bamboo um we have all our other bits and bobs that we need we have our um it's basically our pantry under here we've got water as well the water connects up via um a uh, foot pump here so you just uh, put the tube in connect it up and push and then that brings the water out the top um, there, I will be doing a different video over the weekend, which is a bit more thorough. Um, but for now, um, this is it. So this is our Weco fridge um, and freezer. Has a little freezer compartment at the top there as well. Um, we've also got um, little drawers which um, don't come out. They've got like a little hook at the side, so they don't um, open whilst you're going along. We've got all our cutlery and everything in here. Um, we've also got more storage up here at the top, which you can keep more food items in if you wanted to. These close down, so you get a large work surface. Oh, okay. what are you doing? It? Um, and we've also got some more storage up here as well we've got the pms system up here as well that's your pms system um so that's where you can select whether you want it to charge off the battery um off the car van alternator as well um under here you've got um loads of storage as well under there um the other side's half as i showed you before you've got half of the um alternate uh, the inverter and the leisure battery in there but it's still loads of storage as well we've got a portable loo which we take around with us um, we generally just pop it underneath here as and when we're not using it um, and um, yeah we've got a little basket down here we put with shoes in um, this comes up as well to add for an additional bit of um, worktop which is really handy whilst you're cooking if you're doing something a little bit more elaborate oh I'm going to have to hold Bear with me. That's a two-handed job. <laughs> um, so that's gone down there. Um, so yeah. Oh, and also this bed. So we've got uh, a large double bed here. And then we've had two children sleeping down here. It's a small double as well. I've stayed down there with the kids before. Um, and also that table and this table join together here to make the other single bed. So you can see the two, um, these two holes on the floor. That just fits uh, those two parts of the bed legs. And then that turns into another one. Um, we've also got a lot of um, space up here where we store the um the kids mattresses up there um so yeah and all our bedding and everything generally gets stored up there um just because it's nice and easy access um and then yeah and then we just pop them down there and they just yeah sleep really cozily on the on the floor um and that's about it really i'll show you in the front of the van Here on. It's an Iveco daily um, and it's great really, it drives like a dream. There we go, that's her running. You'll see all those lights are about to go off. Oh, handbrake, door open. Um, that's the, which is the door, is it? Oh, it's the back door, isn't it? Um, well, that's just the door open light. Um, you can see the mileage, runs really well. We've just had it um, serviced. MOT is running until uh, April 25. Um, no advisories. It's great, she's great. We've got a radio here. 
um, it works. The CD player doesn't work, it ate one of our um, CDs and we haven't managed to get that, that bad boy out again. Um, it's a shame. Um, but the radio works fine and obviously we use our phones and stuff like that for it now as well. We've got lights, everything's in working order really. Um, yeah. And we've got two car seats here. They generally go in the back, but then once we're using the back area, we just pop them in the front here, um, and then they um, they just stored here. We use this also for storage of bags and things like that if we want more space in the back. But as I said before, the back is it's just really spacious, so um, we've never really um, felt cramped or anything. So um, it's got loads of pockets and things like that to put things away as well um, in terms of the outside this is the outside here um, has got the odd little little scratch there there's a little scratch there um, I can't think of where else there is one um, there's a little bit of a paintwork thing there um, I was a bit of a dent there. It's got a little step up though, which is handy actually because um, you can get to the van obviously this way as well. Um, so it's quite good, especially if you've got the kiddies or just people who don't want to do a massive jump down, especially if you're on the bed in the morning. Sometimes if you're staying somewhere and you just want to open the doors and it's just beautiful and then you hurt, launch yourself from the bed, it can be quite a distance down. So it's good to have the little step there. Um, so that's that. What else have we got to show? Um, I feel, oh, there's another little dip there in the pot in the door. Um, I think that's about it. Um, like I say, she's she's our love. Like, we love her. Um, little bamboo. We're going to be so sad to see her leave. But, um, yeah, it's time for, hopefully... Oh, we've got some more storage down there as well, um, under there. Oh, and we've also got a carpet that goes in her. Um, so for the cooler months, we have a we lay her with carpet, um, which just keeps her really toasty, um, and yeah, it's just lush. Um, so it just comes in. I think it's in like three or four pieces, and it just goes down. Um, so you can just you can either store it. Um, in the front if you want to take it up for whatever reason but I just install I just store it in the house and just get it out as and when I want to to lay it down and then once it's down I just leave it down um yeah oh and there's another skylight here as well just to add vent really for cooking so we just open that when we're cooking um a little bit just to vent that so yeah that's that's her she's our baby any questions, just shout. Um, if you want to come and see her, um, just get in touch. Thank you.